Tuesday, we're following this breaking news for you this morning. Firefighters responded to a two alarm fire with heavy smoke coming from a building on Pearl Street. That means nearly 60 firefighters are on the scene here again on Pearl Street, right downtown Buffalo. This fire is under control right now, but you can still see some smoke in the area. This is some new video into our newsroom. The fire is actually in a restaurant or a bar with apartments on the second floor. $300,000 of damage done here. Traffic, though, closed on parts of Pearl Street. Unclear about how this fire actually started. Some new information for you about this crash that involved a pedestrian in Niagara County. Police say it happened at the scene of a hit and run just after dark on Dysinger and Bow Miller. Deputies say after this first crash, a car then hit someone standing by the side of the road. That person not seriously hurt, and it's not clear if this victim was actually involved in that original crash. Also in Niagara County this morning, two men have admitted to running a heroin ring there. According to the Buffalo News, Juan Martinez and Luis Montaña took plea deals yesterday. They ran a drug operation that raked in thousands of dollars every single day. And a Lockport woman facing drug charges after a weekend car crash. State police say Marquita Wolford hit another car when she was turning onto Barts Road in Lockport. Police say she was driving under the influence of drugs and she had drugs with her. 828 on your Tuesday. Let's get you out the door with traffic and weather together. Here's Andy. Yeah, looking at it this morning, you can see the uh, the ring still doing good. That's not the issue, but we do have one uh, bumper car out here. This one happened just before the 90 between the 190 and the 400 and that is sending traffic backed up here. No reds, but that is a slow go from Ridge Road all the way past the 400 interchange. And of course, we still have that cons bridge construction.